Hello there! I am No Name and I'm back again with another Advance Wars replay commentary. So, a couple of days ago, I created a Sonya alt account named Sonya Stan account. The idea behind it is that I will be playing Global League games just as Sonya. So, the problem with this though is that Sonya is a tier 3 CO in Fog of War and I don't play standard, I don't play high funds games. So if you don't know, in Advanced Wars by Web, there is what we call tiers in the Global League. So there's tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, tier 4, and then the broken tier, which, we, which we're just not touching. And in Fog of War, Sonya is considered as a tier 3 CO. She's matched with Lash, Kendall, Andy, and Drake. And a common belief in the Advanced Wars community is that Sonya is the weakest among the Tier 3 CEOs. That's something that I want to dispel. I think Sonya is pretty good if you play her correctly. So let's go on to the CEO herself. What makes Sonya special? So Sonya is a Fog of War specialist in a way that her units has extra one vision. That means her tank has four vision, her recons has six vision, and her infantry has three vision. Those three things are very important when you're playing Sonya. Because first, with the vision of her tank, her tanks are as good as other CO's recons. They just see as far, like maybe one less vision, but still pretty good at scouting. Her recons, on the other hand, gives off a tremendous amount of vision in such a way that if we have a Sonya recon somewhere in the map, you can know when there is a tank that's ready to attack your recon because you have 6 vision, a tank has 6 movement, there's a very high possibility that if you move your recon to a certain spot, you'll be able to spot a tank. And then you can do the necessary counterplay to deal with that. And in terms of your infantry, which has 3 vision, your infantry can interrupt caps even though they are 3 spaces away. Because with other COs, you need to be at least 2 spaces away for you to be able to interrupt other caps unless you have complete vision over the area. Like you have a recon or a tank scouting that particular area that your infantry want to hit. However, with Sonya, her infantry doesn't need vision support from other units. They can interrupt caps, attack infantry from 3 spaces away, which is really good. Another thing about Sonya is that her counter attack is increased by 50%. This is pretty interesting because you can play Sonya as though she is Kendall, as though she is Lash, if Sonya's units are on a defensive property. Because notice, if let's say, let's take an example, let's say Kindle's tank. If you put a Kindle tank on a city and you try to attack that tank, that the Kindle tank is going to hit back 40% more than usual because they're on a they're on a property with lash it's 30 percent because of her day-to-day -day. however with sonya it's 50 percent defensively they're a stronger version of kindle and lash so that's one thing that you can take advantage of however sonya at the end of the day is still a tier 3 co when matched with the other tier 2 and tier 1 co's she just doesn't match up or does she? This is what I want to see in creating this account. I wanted to see how well Sonya fares with a higher tiered CO. So in particular for this match, it's going to be Von Bolt. So Von Bolt is a tier 1 CO. The thing that makes Von Bolt really good is his day-to-day -day power. He has 10% firepower increase and then 10% defense increase. And this is made particularly worse with Sonya's bad luck. Because Sonya has a luck range of negative 9% to positive 9%. So you can take that as Sonya having maybe around minus 10% firepower, which is pretty bad, especially if you're dealing with someone who has increased defense in the first place. So that alone already makes the matchup very uneven. However, the weakness of Von Bolt, and I don't know, I don't even know if you could consider it as a weakness, is that he doesn't have a very good superpower. Like, he only has X Machina, which basically paralyzes units on the map 
it's not very good because you can easily predict where the ex machina is gonna hit. More so, ex machina can't really turn around the tide of the battle. So if Von Bolt is losing somewhere in the middle of the game, it would be very hard for them to turn the tides of the battle. Unlike, say, other COs who has powers that could turn around the battle, for example, like Sturm, like Olaf, or Hawk, which can really turn around the battle with just a simple superpower. So Von Bolt doesn't have that. So the strategy usually with Von Bolt is you want to end the game early and you want to be super aggressive. Particularly when you have a weaker CO matchup like Sonya, you really want to be aggressive. So, how then should Sonya deal with the Von Bolt matchup? So that's what we're here to find out. Thankfully, I have a match with a Von Bolt player here. So let's see how we're able to deal with that. So let's start with the normal infantry turns. Like, nothing special here. So I'll be going on with the strategy with Sonya as the match progresses. So right now it's just normal infantry capping phase. Yeah. So infantry is just moving, you know, capping, uh, capping properties. Nothing interesting happening yet here. Uh, I guess this is the first interesting bit that I do. So I know that as Von Bolt, they would probably be super aggressive. And the most aggressive play that they can do is a very early recon. Like a recon, I think at day three, before they capture the base, they should have enough money for a recon. So my thought process here is that if he goes early recon, I want to capture this property as soon as possible so that he doesn't get to interrupt it. Because as soon as I don't get control over this area, it would be very hard for me to reclaim considering that Von Bolt has stronger units. But thankfully, he didn't have any recons built early on, so this opening wasn't that optimal. But anyway, let's proceed. So yeah, normal capture phase, and yeah, we're both just building infantry. No one's opening it with a tank or a recon. Like, yeah, he's super economical. Like, I don't really agree with this. Like, if I know I'm playing as Von Bolt and I'm playing as playing against a weak CO like Sonya, I would have probably gone super aggressive. But yeah, she, my opponent is, has decided to do a more economic opening, opening here. Which I guess counters my opening because I'm not doing the most optimal capture phase on my turn. But yeah, so I, uh, so I try to capture this contested property early on and then I build a tank. So again, the reason for this tank is that I was expecting a recon coming from this side of the map to harass this infantry. So just wanted to preempt that. Unfortunately, he didn't go with the early recon trick. So yeah, day five rolls in and infant yeah. He's just capping with infantry, he hasn't opened anything yet. And now at day five he opens a recon. I think this is pretty late already. Like this recon is just gonna be here for vision. It's not going to harass anything really. But yeah, I guess recons, you know, it's re it, recons in Fog of War, they're really essential. But at this point, I would have probably opened with a tank and then followed up with a recon. But that's just me. So, you have to capture the contested property, capture the airport, and then... Yep. Yep, normal capture phase. Then I built a recon on this side just to scout the left side. Because I already have the tank scouting here, so I need more scout uh, on the left side. And maybe even harass some of the contested properties such as this one and this one. So that's the game plan as of now. And yeah, he's playing super economically, not very aggressive on this end. And and now he builds two tanks. So that's uh, I guess that's a very um, a good opening. So I only have one tank still. So you know that could be that could pay off. Let's see what my let's see what I do this turn. So yep, normal, you know, capture phase. And yep, I put this city on a tank because I was expecting that if there was a tank here uh, maybe since my opponent since I since I just created this account I'm playing with around 800 to 900 MMR players so I was hoping that maybe if there was a tank like hiding in these forests they would foolishly attack this tank and then I'll win that engagement so that was what I was hoping for but unfortunately none of his tanks are in range his recon isn't even in range yeah so I had I completely predicted the wrong opening for my opponent. So 
yeah again i just continue moving and then i created two artilleries the reason for this is i want to use this artillery to guard this property because i'm planning to leave this area of the map because i'm sure that that's where most of its units are going to be concentrated so as much as possible i don't want them to capture this property so i'm planning to put this artillery in this forest and then i'm going to use this artillery to secure this property later on so that's the game plan so yep normal infantry capping yep just moves his infantry forward so as you can see since he had a pretty economical opening he doesn't he has no idea uh, where my units are right now like he has also no idea but so far i think you know it's it's nothing consequential just nitpicking on my part really so he opens the recon on the left side and another tank so this is really bad for me because he already has three tanks i only have one so right now the this trick that i'm using where i'm using this tank as a lower isn't going to work because three tanks are more than enough to deal with this tank on the city so yeah should really move away the tank pretty soon so i capture this and not knowing there's a recon that could interrupt it but you know that's fine i have a tank ready to retaliate anyway and my uh, artillery moves forward we have capture in a comm tower artillery moves forward then i build a recon on this uh on the right side of the map just so i can have more vision on the more vision on this area which again is also pretty bad because uh i sh but at this point it's already day eight i should have guessed that my opponent's units are hidden somewhere in the fog because around this time i should have already seen a vehicle but i haven't seen a tank i haven't seen a recon in either side of the map so i probably should have assumed that my opponents already had like tanks hidden in the forest and ready to, ready to attack so that's a big blunder on my part i guess so yep i just move my infantry here and then yep he resumes his normal capture phase and then yeah he's just he's doing a good job of hiding his units from me sonya the supposed fog of war specialist that can scout units from like six spaces away so so far i'm not doing a very good job but knowing where my opponents are so yeah yeah it, this one jump this one got blocked by the tank he was probably trying to cap it but yeah that's not gonna happen so there are three tanks here that's just threatening this tank but what it, what do i do i kill off this infantry like to no effect because that's like an infantry i am sacrificing a tank to kill an infantry that's very bad and here's my second mistake okay. so yeah let's just where's my second mistake there okay Here's my second mistake. Re remember how I said this artillery should be in this forest to guard this property? Well, I think I got stupid and then decided to put it here behind this infantry capping. My idea was that if someone was going to interrupt this cap, maybe a recon or an infantry, my artillery would be ready to counterattack. However, the thing is, this is not as contested as this one so i would have captured this either way i wouldn't have a hard time capturing this property but i would have a hard time regaining this property if ever he steals it from me so yeah second mistake i should have put this artillery here instead of here so you'll see how that mistake would cost me in the future so yeah i also built another artillery previous turn so i have an artillery backing this one up if ever you know like a reckless tank tries to rush this rush this artillery so i build another tank and then an anti-air because i'm expecting a battle copter anytime soon now so okay yep yeah, let's see what it does here so he spots my tank first strike so seven as you can see sonya's counter-attack is really strong because consider this is a von bolt tank with 10 percent defense and yet I was able to do 7 damage in the counter attack. With normal CEOs, this is probably going to be at 8 or 9 considering there's a comm tower. But yeah, that's Sonya's counter attack for you. But the thing is, this can easily be solved by 2 tanks and he has 3. So, second tank comes in, my tank is dead. And he even caps this and I have nothing to interrupt this. 
and then a third tank comes in, takes a pot shot at his infantry, and then moves it. Yeah, moves his anti air, that captures that city there. Okay, yep. And then interrupts the scap, which I predicted. I had an artillery in ready, but I would have preferred this artillery to be here, to be honest. Because I have a recon that could have killed this. So, uh, I don't know. I don't think that was, this was such a worthy trade. Like, I lost the city for an infantry. So, that's not, that's not very good. So, yep. A recon just recklessly walking into the range of my artillery. So, okay. So, at least I get... I kill one of his recon. That's good. I've already lost a tank and like two infantries. So far, I am losing the early game. And if you're a weaker CO, that's really not good tidings for you. And yep, I just blast the infantry that cap. And then I also kill the recon. There you go. And then I put yeah, I put the tank here. He saw that there's a tank here, because look at his vision. He had vision of this tank going into this forest and there i built a medium tank i figured that i wouldn't win a tank versus tank warfare with one bolt like there's just no chance like not only that does his tanks outpower my tank but the positioning right now is that he's more likely to have more tanks on the center than me like i only have one base pumping out tanks here and he can pump out two tanks on this side and maybe even shift one tank from the left to the right so a tank warfare isn't going to work for me so i had to tech up as soon as they can so that's the battle plan right now i want to shut down his tanks with a medium tank also i also want this to be a medium tank battle because if I force my opponents to keep building medium tanks to counter my medium tank, most likely is that my opponent is going to have terrible vision. Because their medium tank only has one vision, my medium tank has two vision. Not only that, I'm also planning to pump out more recons and just stop building tanks. Because I want to get a whole lot of vision on the map while my medium tank kills off everything else. So that's the battle plan right now. I'm taking advantage of my vision advantage over Von Bolt. So let's see if that works out. So I move my anti-air and Recon gets into the city because I know there's like a tank. I want I want my opponent to commit like a lot of units to try damaging this Recon because I have an artillery just waiting to punish him. Let's see if it takes the bait. So yep, moving my infantry. And yeah, I'm just I'm just like you know surrounding my artillery with infantry because I wanted to protect it as much as I can. And yep, spots my infantry. Yeah, he sees me. He sees, he sees me capping, but yeah, he's not gonna interrupt that. So his battery copter moves, and then look at that. He's just super aggressive. And I think at this point, he is very aggressive to the point that it's already overextending. Because as you can see, he should have known that I might have a medium tank by this turn. Like that's the natural assumption when you have like three tanks ganged up here. Or at least a tank on the base range. Like you would know if you're overextending just by counting six steps away from the base. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this tile here, this tile here, this tile here. If you're over there, you're already considered as overextended because that's the minimum amount of distance my tank can reach to counterattack straight from the base. So that's the line that you want, kind of want to draw and you don't want to go beyond that because that's where you'll just get decimated by the reinforcements. So that's, a, I guess, kind of a beginner mistake from my opponent, like overextending, like right up the base. I guess he was feeling pretty good because he was just running me down with his tanks and I'm being pushed back to I basically I'm being pushed back like he already has income advantage over me he has the positioning advantage like I guess he's just feeling pretty cocky but that's the thing you can take advantage of that and it's really effective as Sonya because she's a defensive CO so let's see how I play my counter attack here so he moves first, first he moves units and then yeah, triple tax. 
oh, that's not a good build order from him. Especially with my medium tank, those three tanks are gonna be super useless. So, yep, yeah, artillery just, you know, damaging this recon. I have to kill this recon, so... Uh, but first, yep, yeah, just a dead tank. Bye-bye tank. Boom. And then I, this recon wraps around because I really want to kill this 4 HP recon. And, yep. Yeah. This would have been like, this could have gone really badly for me because like I'm playing a Sonya. But thankfully, I had like a good luck roll and I was able to kill off the recon. So, yeah. So right now, he has, only has two tanks and he has no response to my medium tank right now. So, yeah. And I built another medium tank in case he... So I have a preemptive counter to his medium tank. So... Right now, he has no response and he has no choice but to back off. So, yeah, I'm just like defending this property here. Doing a pretty bad job because like I'm being outnumbered here. But yeah, I'm just protecting my artilleries and just keep on picking off units. So far, I'm doing pretty well here on the, on the right side. And yeah, just, you know, just first striking and ish. look at this engagement, just disgusting. That's Von Bolt's 10% firepower and defense for you. So, yep, and then just keep on building infantries and then let's see what he does. The correct response here is to back off. Wait for your medium tank and then just gather your units. Do not attack when you have no counter to this medium tank. So, let's see if my opponent retreats. So, yeah, tries to kill this infantry. Look at that. That's a one bolt infantry, 10% defense, and yet my infantry just half the damage or half the health of that infantry. So, yeah, that's the power of a of a Sonya infantry on a Sith. So, it's best that you don't check. If you're going to kill a uh, a Sonya unit on a property, make sure that you're going to kill it because pot shots aren't going to work. So, yeah. And then yeah, he wraps around and boom, still not yet dead and still doing pretty good damage. And boom, yeah, he kills it, but like yeah, he doesn't have another unit to to finish it off. I guess he could use Santa Air, but yeah, not really worth it. And then he shows his battle copter. Thankfully I already have anti-air as a response for that. So yeah, just going on, just going ham on my units. And gets vision and he sees the anti-air. He probably should have moved this infantry first so that I would have more information whether or not I would reveal this anti uh, at this battle copter as early as my opponent did. But yeah, that's I guess kind of nitpicky commentary on my part. So okay, move ahead and then just, just look at that. Don't Yeah, he kills it that yeah. It Sonya hits so hard like Normally, this wouldn't have done 7 damage, especially if you have 10 defense, but yeah, that's just that's just Sonya for you. And now he sees the artillery. Remember my previous videos, how you can use artilleries to bait a tank or a bigger units? This is one such case. So look at this juicy artillery. He doesn't have vision of the other artillery that's going to fire back. So let's see. He takes the tank to attack this artillery and boom he does like i don't know like maybe six damage to this artillery but this tank because of that is now dead so remember what i said that the correct option here was to retreat maybe coalesce somewhere here well this is the consequence of doing the wrong move so he just kept pushing forward yeah there was an infantry here that yeah that was here and it just died did it uh, no, buggy replay and yeah, he he kills the artillery. Again, I'm okay with it. I don't care. Because I'm going to kill one of the tanks anyway. That's a, that's a fair trade for me. And right now, I'm in need of good engagements. Considering that I'm an income behind. So, okay. So, I punish his movements here. I punish his overextension. Like, I damage this tank. And then medium tank basically renders this tank useless. Boom, and counter break. Now you cannot touch my units. So, Recon comes here to lend a hand just to shut down this entire infantry brigade happening on, happening here. 
and then yeah just i'm just killing units right now and medium tank goes here to possibly ward off any possible tanks that might enter here and then anti-air finishes off this tank and then yeah just damages the infantry and then i continue yeah yeah i'm just killing the I'm just killing as much infantry as I can right now, and then yep, right now I'm just that I'm just I am just protecting my artilleries here. So yeah, and then I built another artillery, and then I built another recon. Notice how I'm not building a tank, because right now I'm not going to win a tank by tank warfare. It's not helpful. I'd rather build battle copters and artilleries to counter those. So let's see how my opponent responds okay let's fix the vision first is that his vision okay see how bad the vision is like as soon as those tanks are dead and the medium tank is in play the vision is just going to get worse so he really needs a recon like right about now so medium tank like enters i would have preferred if this medium tank went to the side because this is where the medium tanks are so but yeah just a guess more nitpick on my part he reveals this infantry in the city and then yeah peach yeah attacks it oh yeah and then yeah correctly so he moves away from the two artilleries that's the correct response really if you've already pushed hard enough on your opponent's front you don't want to overextend what you want to do is to shift to the other side of the map so from center, notice how he shifts his units to the sides. That's what you really want to do when you're already winning one side and if you keep pushing further, you're going to overextend. Just shift to another side and then take your victories there. So that's what he does, which is very good on him. And then Battlecopter. This is weird. I think he knows that my anti-air is here. Because the anti-air was here a couple of turns ago, I think. Like, he had vision over that. Yeah, he had vision on the anti-air. So he knows that my anti-air is there. I guess he forgot because he removed this art. He removed this anti-air. So he doesn't have vision of this anymore. But yeah, it's in perfect. Th this battle copter is in range of my anti-air. So that's a mistake on his part. Just took a lot infantry. It's not really worth it. So, yep. And then he builds another medium tank. That's the correct build. I would have preferred if he built a recon instead of a tank because he needs vision support with his medium tank and his tank isn't really going to kill anything here like maybe the artillery maybe the anti-air yeah that, i don't i don't think that's the case because right now my strategy is just to spam battle copters to counter his tanks so yep yeah, kill that unit and then boom yep and then i kill his anti-air that's really disastrous considering my plan right now is to spam battle copters so this entire area on the on the right left yeah right hand side is shut down because there's a medium tank there's a battle copter he has no response to it so this push is dead now his only chance is here and it's not looking very well so yeah he tries to capture this that's a bit ambitious yeah good luck with that and then, yep, I just kill his infantry, And then there's the crucial mistake. Boom. Now this side is... I wouldn't say useless, but it's pretty... The push here is pretty dead right now. So, yep, I just kill his infantry. Move my recon to the center just to see what he has over there. And then, yep, kill the infantry. Push my recon here because I know that this tank is going to attack this anti-air. And then I put another artillery here in case he attacks here or here or here. And then, yeah. Yeah, I just guard this artillery. And then just for a good measure, I put another artillery here. So this anti-air is now just a bait. Like, this tank might try to attack this anti-air. It's gonna get blasted by two artilleries. So, there we go. And just, yeah, just move my units. And again, for, I guess I have enough recons already that I could afford to build a tank. But yeah, so yeah, since I have three recons here, I, I'm pretty covered in terms of vision. So yeah, again, just artilleries, battle copters, and medium tanks. That's the way to push my. Uh, that's that's the way for me to be defensive in this situation. 
So yeah. So right now, let's see what he does. Look at this vision. It's super bad. Because he doesn't have a recon. And he's pumping out medium tanks to counter my medium tanks. So yeah, right now. And yeah, as expected, he attacks the at the air with his tank. Now he knows there are two artillery that is just going to decimate this tank. So yeah, I guess good job for killing this infantry. Like he's doing a good job of picking off my infantry, but he has bigger battles to win. And this is another mistake, like pushing this medium tank to this side where there are no medium tanks. You really want this medium tank to attack other medium tanks. You don't want it killing off anti-air or picking off infantry or artilleries. That's really bad. Like you want it to be as cost effective as possible. You want it to fight medium tanks. And my medium tanks are all the way here on the right side. So yeah, not a very good play on his part. Considering he also has a medium tank here, this would have been better if like these two medium tanks coalesce in the center and then attack with a united front uh, towards either on the right side or on the center. So uh, you know, slight misplaced from my opponent here. So okay. Then he builds an anti-air because he saw my battle copter. Yeah, and I guess yeah, because this anti-air dive needs he needs a new one. But it's gonna be too far for it to be effective, really. And then he keeps building tanks. Again, build recons. Once you have a lot of medium tanks on the field, you need recon vision for these medium tanks to be effective. Because right now they are super blind. The only thing that's giving vision is this tank and a couple of infantry. So let's see. Yep, I even killed this tank. So now this portion of the map is completely blind. Like it has super bad vision. And then I'm capping this. And I make sure I cap this by protecting this infantry. And yep, I put the artillery here. And then look at that. Medium tank. Bye bye. Kill tank. And I have a copter there. Yep. Any push here isn't going to work. So. Yeah, and then just kill this, uh, kill this infantry here, and then yep, yeah, just positioning my tank, and even here we do a copy capture. Like, unfor like he doesn't have any units around except for this five HP tank to interrupt. But yeah, I guess would be it would be a good diversion. So again, I just heal up my anti air because even at like six HP, this is still gonna be super useful. So let's see. Yep, again, just moving my infantry here just to guard these two artilleries. Because right now, he can't do a push here. Even with the medium tank, he won't be able to push through my artillery defense. So, again, it would have been better if this medium tank was heading towards the right side. Because that's where the he conflict heavy region is. So, yep, an again, another medium tank. Okay. Okay, the reason why I built this medium tank, like normally I should have built the medium tank here. Because that's where I want my medium tanks to be concentrated. But the thing is, I see that he already has X Machina. As I've mentioned a while ago, X Machina is very predictable. You can easily reroute X Machina by just building expensive units and then blobbing them together. Because worst case scenario is that they're going to have 3 damage and you're not going to be able to move them further. That's not devastating, especially if it doesn't land on the front lines. Maybe if it landed on the front lines, like in this portion of the map, that might have been devastating because he would have good counter plays for that. But here, the worst that's going to happen is that I get base blocked. I won't be able to build units here because the units are going to be paralyzed. But you know what? It's fine. Like, it's not a big deal. So, yeah, this is just the X Machina blob. So, yeah. So, let's see. Again. Boom. So he pops X Machina and it doesn't show on the map, but it hit here. That's where it hit. It'll show uh, when it's my turn. So let's see the counter attack. See, he's getting trapped because he doesn't have like good vision. And he tries to cap this, like, and that's kind of ambitious of ya. Um, then, yep, just keeps moving and then moves his tank, interrupts his cap. Good for you, but yeah, I, I didn't have ambitions of capping this property anyway, so that's fine. So. Yeah, now he's shifting back to the center because his medium tank is about to go to the center. So that's a good 
good play. Like you're already consolidating your forces in the center um, to to push. So there, there, there's the medium tank. I would have preferred if he hit this medium tank maybe in this forest first, so that I would be more inclined to push instead of holding a defensive position. But yeah, that's you know, that's that's your preference, I guess. So yeah, and then now now he puts the medium tank towards the center. So right now I'm I'm in a kind of a bad position because there are now two medium tanks that's going to the center and I really don't have I cannot afford a face-to-face -face battle with my opponent's medium tanks. Thankfully I have four artilleries to set up a defensive line. That's really how you counter a medium tank if you're weak, if you're a weaker CO. Just go indirects. Like use one artillery to lure the medium tank and then use the other one to shoot. That's an that's a that's a usual trick for you to be able to damage your opponent's medium tank without resort even if you are in a medium tank disadvantage. So yeah, right now I'm just cleaning house on the left side. Yeah, yeah, just killing off those infantries and then making sure that they don't cap this. Because right now we're equal at properties and I really want to maintain that. And again, just interrupting this cap. No way in hell that was gonna work in the first place. Good for you for trying. And then here. Look at the positioning of my medium tank. So let's just move every all of my unit first. So, okay. Alright, so look at the positioning of my medium tank. As you can see, I have vision over this medium tank. So I know that this one, this medium tank, is in range of the medium tank. But again, the thing is, he doesn't have vision over it. So he needs to commit one unit just to spot it and another unit to attack it. And I already have things to counter his supposed push. I don't see this anti-air, so my copters are kind of in danger. But the thing is, I just want to lure this medium tank. First strike my medium tank, and then lure him and kill the medium tank with these two artilleries. And then if ever he pushes with his tanks, I have battle copters to counter. So right now, I've, I'm playing pretty defensively. And as you can see, he has terrible vision, so he has to commit units just to get vision of units. And that's not really good. You want your units to attack, especially your expensive units like, you know, tanks. That's why you build a recon, just for them to scout. So, okay, it's his turn. And then, yeah, he moves his copter. Good idea of shifting it to the side. And then, boom. Okay, my infantry is dead. Okay, let's just see. And yeah, I don't know what this tank's doing. Like, was he afraid that there was like a stray recon that's like just, you know, scouting here? I guess that could happen. I mean, I do it sometimes. Sometimes I can get a recon like sliding through the side and then getting it to this forest. So I guess, you know, a little bit of foresight for him. But yeah, this tank is being wasted in this corner. So, yeah, again, who's his tank? He has so many tanks to attack nothing. Because I have battle copters and I have medium tanks and I have artilleries. So I guess he could rush my artilleries, but that's not really a good idea because yeah, you're just you're just killing off your tank by that point. So, yeah. He's trying so hard. Look at that. He could have attacked my artillery with his medium tank if he had vision over it. Because this artillery is pretty naked. It doesn't have any... Thing defending it so that's why vision is so important folks so again another mistake you do not want to attack with your anti-air especially when I have two copters just waiting on the back line so now I could just damage your anti-air and these two these two battle copters can just fly around and kill off your tanks Especially now that I'm almost at my counter break, that makes your anti-air even more useless once it's damaged. So yeah, just a bad move. And then yeah, he commits this infantry just to kill this one and then he spots my tank. 
He doesn't spot my artillery though. He also doesn't spot the copters. So he has no idea like what kind of defense I have in the back line. He just spots this tank and then this recon. So yeah, he tries to like scout some more, but he doesn't have like he, yeah, my battle copter just is still hiding in the fog. So yeah, he captures this again. Pretty ambitious. They have a medium tank to counter that, and then he gets trapped. So now he spots a battle copter. He probably thinks I only have one battle copter. He still doesn't spot these two artilleries. So I guess he was pretty confident that he would be able to get a free shot because he has an anti-air to deal with this. And then yeah, he just takes what he assumes to be a free shot. And then yeah, an eight. I think it, I think this is an eight to four trade, which is very good if I didn't have artilleries here. So. Yeah, and then he yeah see he's using his tanks as scouts that's not really what you want because their tanks aren't very good scouts they're decent scouts at best but you really want your tanks to be attacking like say other tanks recons or you know other vehicles really you don't want them scouting but that's what ends up happening they're just being used as scouts and then he builds another copter and finally he builds a recon I would have gone double recon at this point, like build a recon here, build a recon here, just to get like vision on both sides. But yeah, like yeah, he's still building tanks, and the tanks aren't really doing anything right now. So here is the dreaded turn. He sees this artillery already, and he doesn't have any idea. So boom, boom, medium tank dead. I have my counter break i pop my counter break and now look at this devastating turn like yeah i kill off the infantry because why not then i move uh, i move out my tanks kill off this infantry so this is probably safe already yeah just moving out my units and look at my x mac uh my x mac in a bait they're fine now like you, you didn't even notice the x mac in except for these seven these two infantries in this tank like that's worth 10 stars and i don't think it's worth it like you could have probably done more damage with the kindles with the kindle normal power so yeah von bolt superpower just sucks like it's super bad and then yep i remove this recon and there you go here's the thing yeah it does like four damage but here's the thing right with sonya Another thing about her is that if you're playing against Sonya, you cannot see the health of her units. Like you can have an estimate because you can know how hard her units are hitting. For example, a, f uh, a 4 HP medium tank, uh, or rather this medium tank dealt only 4 damage to this out there. So you can assume that this medium tank isn't that healthy. But the thing is, I also have my counter break so he really cannot risk using this medium tank to attack this medium tank because right now he needs the medium tank more than I do mine because first I have two more that can easily travel to the center right now he only has one medium tank and his base is super far away it's gonna take him forever to reach this part of the map where the conflict is most heavy so i'm he's more in need of his medium tanks than mine so he would strategically maybe try to keep this alive but let's see what happens so there my medium tank just rolls over this tank and yeah if it was like any other matchup this tank would have been dead but yeah i'm at a disadvantage that's fine so Boom, I interrupted gap, now this gap isn't you know going to happen. And then yep, I just try to kill it and look at this. I have three recons in the same area. Again, if you watched my previous videos, I really don't like recons with being clumped in the same area. But this time it's fine. Like I have pretty good vision. I also have um, vision over here. So I could spread them out later on. So yep, yeah, I'm just killing just damaging infantries here yeah protecting my artilleries and then look at this first strike one tank boom and then first strike the other 
Boom. Now, these three tanks, they're already useless before. They're even more useless now because they cannot even kill a recon. Like, it would take two units to kill this recon here. And his anti-air is damaged. I have my counter break, so he doesn't have a response to this. And then I just move my anti-air for extra defense here. If, if he decides to maybe attack this artillery, I have I have I have a lot of backup basically. So yeah, again, build another medium tank because this is a medium tank war right now. Like that's just the that's just that's just the way. That's just the way to play this game right now. So yeah, turn day 16. Let's see what he does. So right now he's at a super disadvantageous position. And as I've mentioned with Von Bolt, he doesn't have a power that can turn around games. So the best he could hope for here is I overextend or I keep taking bad engagement. That's his only hope right now. But the thing is, what he does is he keeps pushing forward. He keeps pushing forward, pushes the stack forward. And yeah, he retreats this 5 HP tank. Like, I would have probably like place it here in the city but you know whatever and then yeah just keeps moving and then look at this in a normal scenario this battle copter would have been dead but with my counter break active look at the engagement boom this anti-air is pretty much useless because i have an artillery that could blast it at the same time this battle copter is at like 6 hp which can still do pretty good harass damage to tanks. Like it's probably gonna do like chip damage of three, which which can still be useful. It can decrease the defense of the von Bolt units, so that's fine. So look at this. He's just playing super aggressive still, even though he's already losing. I would have retreated by this point. Like place these tanks on the city and then fight for another day. But yeah, like just move this tank doesn't even kill the recon on the road like he had to dedicate this other 2 hp unit to kill off the kill off the recon so we join gaps doesn't really matter like this one's going to fall like you're not going to cop you're not going to cap that so so yeah he just you know keep, keeps built and again builds another medium pack the correct decision but it's a bit too late like you're already getting pushed out here i already have my artillery death ball forming here so good luck pushing through with your medium packs so yeah he builds an artillery does i don't really agree with this considering you're on the offensive i would have probably built a new tank by this uh at this point prob uh, yeah i probably would have built a new tank instead just to because they're a lot faster they can reach the front lines faster and they're a good counter to medium tanks but whatever so here is the devastating turn for him boom i kill the anti-air dead infantry copter kills two hp tank yeah if artillery kills another tank copter kills tank and yeah artillery defends this medium tank and yeah just just yeah just just look at it like all of his units are just getting decimated right now and he doesn't have a proper response like any unit that he attacks he's going to get blasted by an artillery so i've already set up my defensive line here so look at that how is he supposed to counter attack this he doesn't have an anti-air to deal with the copters the me he doesn't have vision because his medium tank sucks like i guess he could push forward this recon to get vision um these tanks can't really do anything what are they gonna attack nothing really you can't even reach this recon and yeah basically there's nothing that he could do here except wait it out and i'll keep building my army and then i'll keep pushing and, and then eventually i'll win the game so seeing that my opponent resigns so what is the key takeaway from this replay first if you are playing a, an uneven matchup or an uneven co matchup a good idea is to play defensively and the best way to play defensively is by utilizing artilleries and medium tanks that's the number one strategy if you want 
to defend the cities or the properties that are closest to your base that you can easily reinforce. Because artilleries and medium tanks, their main weakness is that they only have five movement. However, they're very hard to counter, or not really hard to counter, like medium tanks require a medium tank. But artilleries, when you're able to bunch them up, they could form a very good defensive line and then your opponent might just suicide their units towards your front line and that's just good for you. So that's one thing. Second is that if you are a stronger CO facing a weaker matchup, don't over don't underestimate your opponent. Like don't overextend, you know, still keep the basics in mind. Count the number of units, uh, count the number of steps that the base uh, will take to reach a certain part of the map and just stay away from there. Just keep playing smart. When you want an area, which you probably will because you have the stronger CO, shift to another side and win that area. Don't keep pushing forward. That's the second thing. And third is that I guess this game really highlights how skill is more important than CO matchups. Like if you have the skill to back it up, you can have a pretty good game with a higher tier CO as long as you know how to play around it. Of course, if you're evenly matched with your opponent, CO matchup is going to be a huge factor. That is my first Sonya replay. I'm planning to cast more of my Sonya games with other tier 1 CEOs because I think those are the really interesting matchups and you can you can see how to properly strategize when you're at when you start with a massive disadvantage. So that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something and I hope you had fun watching this. Um yeah that's, that's pretty much about it. I, I I still don't have an outro so I'm vamping like and subscribe and all that stuff i guess thanks so much for watching i'll see you again next week bye bye